Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from XGoody. This is the XGoody Gimbal 3 Android TV 11 Smart Mini Projector. And this offers a lot because it's running on Android 11 TV. Uh, you can use the Play Store to download thousands of different apps to use with this projector. Now it has a 180 degree rotating design here, uh, and this projector has a lot to offer. So we're going to dig into it now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's take a look at everything that comes in the box with the Gimbal 3. We'll start out with the quick installation guide. Uh, and this comes in a couple different languages here. Uh, it's a well-written uh, color images, uh, not micro print. You're not going to need a magnifying glass to read this. Uh, but you can see how to set up uh, casting via iOS or for Android, how to set up your wireless connections, uh, audio settings, uh, your Bluetooth settings, and everything like that. Like that also gives you the layout for your remote here uh, so you do have like an air mouse and things like that with this uh, uh, remote uh, it does show you all of your specifications and of course I'll leave these up at this point in the video so if I miss anything uh, you can come back to this point in the video and you can check it out now this does uh, feature electronic uh, keystone correction manual focus I'm not quite sure why it says electric focus there I think they meant to say keystone correction because it does have auto keystone correction which does come in handy now this is a native 720p but does support 4k decoding for 4k file playback now with this we get a two prong uh, right angle connector to two prong AC adapter for connecting the gimbal 3 uh, the gimbal 3 itself does not have uh, a battery in it so you will have to have it plugged in they do give you a full HDMI cable so if you do want to hook up a laptop uh, you know a PC a gaming console or whatever via HDMI you're already uh, set up with the included cable now taking a look at the remote here we've got all of our Android type controls here because this is built on Android 11. You do have an air mouse, you do have mirror cast, uh, and you do have solutions for iOS as well. You do have a back button, settings, home button, uh, your navigation wheel, uh, of course, as well. Now this takes two AAA batteries that are not included, so just make sure that you have some on hand. Now taking a look at the setup here for the XGoody Gimbal 3, this measures 14 centimeters in length and 9 centimeters uh, in diameter, just so that you know that. It is 180 uh, degree rotatable, which is really nice to be able to get you exact angle that you're looking for of, of the surface that you're going to be able to uh, project onto. So if you want to go for ceiling, you can do that, uh, and etc. On the back, we've got our a mains plug-in. Uh, we do have a full USB port on the back here, a 3.5 millimeter headphone out port, a full HDMI port, and your power uh, along uh, with a uh, IR LED port for the remote control. Uh, so overall, very compact, very small here. Uh, works out really, really nicely. On the bottom, you've got this nice uh, grip for it if you're going to use this tabletop. And it also has a spot for a standard tripod mount if you want to mount this to a tripod. Okay, so here's our main display here, and as you can see, it's got a, a pretty simple layout, which is actually pretty nice. It's Android TV 11 with XGoody's skin over top of it. You have Netflix and YouTube options here. You have the App Store. Uh, they have a, an App Store of their own, plus you have access to the full Google Play Store. Your input, your file manager, your settings, and your installed applications. At the bottom, we can quick add uh, these applications that are already installed. You can see that we do have Miracast. We've got the Play Store. So if I want to add the Play Store, I can add that. And it will show up in the row at the bottom for quick access, which is really nice. Again, having access 
to the Play Store is excellent because you can get up to 8,000 different apps, you know, such as Amazon Prime Video or whatever you would like to add on to this. Uh, you can run it right from the projector. So having options like this with Android built in really makes this a, a nice option. So uh, also we have uh, Netflix and YouTube already built in. So if you do want to check that out, you can. Uh, it, this is a, an app store, has some recommended things that they have here, uh, you know, Prime Video, uh, Netflix again, Chrome, uh, the app store that they add in, Hulu, and a few other things as well. Uh, so they do have that alternate app store there that you can use if you want to, uh, but with access to the Play Store itself, I don't know that that's actually needed, but it's nice to have. Now in settings here, we can take a look at our network settings. This is where you'll set up your Wi-Fi or hotspot settings. If you do want to uh, connect this via hotspot as well, you can. Uh, Bluetooth settings, uh, so that if you want to add uh, external Bluetooth headphones or speakers or other devices, you can set them up here in Bluetooth. So that works out really nicely as well. Now we do have our language settings. We do have some other settings here. Uh, we do have our about device, date and time, audio settings. Projection settings here, we've got screen zoom. So if you're projecting to a smaller area and you wanna shrink the screen down, you can see that we can shrink it all the way down here to about half the size. Uh, so this works out if you're gonna project onto a smaller area and you need the screen to fit. Projection mode, we've got rotate front, rotate rear, rotate ceiling, and rotate rear ceiling in case you're gonna mount this in an odd position. In keystone correction, this has electronic keystone, which works out really well. I leave that on auto. And then you have your initial angle correction if you need to calibrate it. In audio settings, it's just gonna bring up, uh, you know, your uh, base audio levels from zero to 100 here. So not go a lot going on here. Date and time settings. If we go into uh, other settings, we've got application settings and factory resetting the device. Uh, and it's uh, pretty simple and straightforward here. Again, Android uh, with their uh, simplistic skin on top here as well. So pretty nice. Go to about device, you can see that we can uh, learn information about our device. We can do a local upgrade or an online upgrade as well. So if there's an Android upgrade uh, from XGoody, you can just do an OTA upgrade right there. So very, very nice, easy setup here uh, for this device. Now, YouTube, uh, again, is on the front. You will have to initially download it or install it, but it is there, and the same for Netflix, uh, which is nice to just to have as quick access. If we go into applications and then Miracast for Android devices, uh, and also you can use AirPin for iOS, uh, we can simply uh, cast our Android device uh, to this using uh, your casting on whatever Android device you have. And you'll be looking for projector and then a number after it'll be different for your projector. And it takes a few seconds to connect, uh, but once it does connect, it's gonna ask you to decline or accept. And of course I'm going to accept. And then as it's connecting with this Wi-Fi 6 capable network, it's pretty quick. Uh, so you can see here a good colors, uh, nice and fluid motion, uh, no stutters or stops. So watching uh, YouTube videos or home videos on this is gonna be nice and easy to do with this. Now, if you're gonna use copy protected things like Netflix, it's not gonna work via casting. You're better off just using the built-in apps from the Play Store directly on the device. But Miracast works great on this device. Now, to go into files here, I've got Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered, and this is captured in 4K from my PC. So I want to give you an idea of what this sounds like and uh, what this looks like on default settings.
Officer, welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so, uh, so me and my guys were in a shootout with some desperate characters who had nothing to lose. I mean, they didn't care if we all lived or died. And somebody would have, trust me, if Spider-Man hadn't helped us. All right, fair enough. I'm not saying he never does... So there you go. That's a 4K file being played back. It's nice, crisp, and clear. Good colors. Uh, it, good brightness. You can see the corners of the screen aren't fuzzy. They're nice and clear and crisp. So overall, I have no problems with the playback, especially 4K file playback on the Gimbal 3. This is with no uh, enhancements done to brightness or anything like that. This is straight out of the box. And I wanted to give you an idea of what the default playback would be like. And I'm overall very satisfied. So I think XGoody has put together a nice package here with the Gimbal 3. It's got access to the Play Store uh, for thousands of different apps. You do have Wi-Fi uh, 6 and Bluetooth for connections. You can uh, cast devices to this. And of course, it supports 4K playback as well. So there you go. That's my review of the XGoody uh, Gimbal 3 uh, Android TV 11 Mini Smart Projector. This is a really nice projector overall, and I had a fun time testing this out. Uh, being built on Android is definitely its biggest strength, uh, and I think maybe its biggest weakness would be that smaller speaker that's in it. But since you have Bluetooth, you can easily hook up a Bluetooth speaker and make this sound a uh, hundred times better. Overall, this uh, with the access to the Google Play Store makes this a really nice projector if you need one uh, with all your apps built in. It does have one gigabyte of memory and it also has uh, eight gigabytes of storage built in, but you can add more with that USB drive as well or the USB port. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review and I'll check you guys out on the next one.